What's happening today, we've got some more Lyft e-foil goodness. We are gonna do unboxing and just quick overview on a Lyft 3 and uh, kind of fun. We don't get to see this guy too often. This is the big one, the five foot nine inch board. So um, this thing is massive. You can see from the size of the box, it's a ton of volume, huge platform. Um, super fun to put two people on if you wanna mess around with that. Uh, so kind of cool to get a chance to see it and um, take it apart and show you how, how big it is in person, sense of scale. So yeah, basically uh, when you get a lift from us, you're gonna get um, three different boxes and two shipments. So first one you're gonna get is gonna be your board and then your propulsion unit, mass, charger, accessory kit's gonna be in the second box. And then the battery, which is uh, manufactured by a third party partner of Lyft's called Lithios is gonna ship directly to you. So, uh, so you'll get this shipment that's got your board and the, everything else goes with it. And then a second shipment that's gonna be for the battery. So um, yeah, let's get into it and we'll take a peek at what, what's included here and what you get. So start out with the uh, accessory kit. And this is gonna be basically the same for every, every lift, e-foil, any three, or even the three, the new 3F. It's gonna be basically the same setup. So includes super nice molded hard case. It's got a canvas covering on it, so durable and um, makes it pretty easy to pack around if you're gonna go on a trip or take your board somewhere. You basically just have, everything's gonna be in here and then inside the board which comes with its own bag as well. So inside here, we've got our mass assembly with the integrated propulsion unit. So motor, propeller, uh, all your connections come out of the top of the mass. So you've got your uh, high voltage power from the control module inside the board and then your water cooling line. So this pulls water in from this intake at the front, sends it up to circulate and cool the electronics inside the power control module and the board. Um, and then it gets uh, exhausted out through a port on the bottom of the board that we'll show you here in a second. So you've got that. And then the other main component in here is gonna be your dedicated charger. Um, this is the charger that Lyft uses, made by Delta Q. Um, so pretty straightforward, just your battery charger. Nothing super exciting there, um, but that's got the dedicated battery quick lock connector on the end of it to charge your battery and make quick work of that. You're also gonna have your integrated hand controller. Um, so this is the dedicated controller that Lyft has that's the wireless connection to the board to actually control it. Open this up real quick. Um, so you've got a fuel gauge for the battery level, percent state of charge on the display, along with governors and your power button to turn it on and off. Comes with a strap so you can configure it for left hand or right hand, whichever you prefer. Um, totally wireless, floats, so not a problem to drop it, completely waterproof. So that's their specialty controller, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then you've also got um, power cable for your battery charger and your miscellaneous accessories. So this is gonna be the rest of your mounting hardware to get your, your lift set up. Um, attachment hardware to secure the mass to the board and then your hardware for your um, for your wing assembly fuselage to mass connection um, and everything that you need to actually mount it up. Spare diagnostic cord for your battery, spare sealant for gasket for around the access door in the board. So just a serviceable item. They include an extra set so that if you end up um, pinching it or get any leaks there, you can replace it and uh, you've got a watertight connection. Um, everything inside there is totally waterproof anyway, but just helps keep the water out, especially nice if you're in a salt water environment. Um, and then they also include some, um, some waterproofing treatment uh, for your connections so you don't get any corrosion on any of that hardware. Um, again, 
mostly if you're in a saltwater or brackish water environment. The board's all set up for that as long as you rinse it off when you're done, you're good to go, no problem. So, um, so yeah, so that's what's included in side the accessory kit and uh, you know like I said everything nice molded connections so it all stores real real well super easy to pack it down throw it in the back of your car or truck to go on a trip and go play in a new spot so we'll set that aside and let's take a look at this bad boy five foot nine inch monster so this is the biggest size they make and uh yeah see here in a second what we're talking about this thing is a giant so it comes super well packed to avoid any damage and shipping. So first thing is you've got your wing set cover. So pretty cool, um, the way lift sets it up, you can store the board collapsed like this, or if you have your mast mounted and your wings all assembled, you can have this on here, it's gotta cut out for your mast. So um, you've got everything protected basically for transportation or storage keep everything nice and nice and safe and secure so inside here pull this out so they ship this is the newer two-piece setup so they used to do a one-piece uh, wing and stabilizer but now you're gonna have two piece just gives you more flexibility to be able to to control um, or modify if you want to swap out to a different wing or a different stabilizer you can um, most people are, you know, probably not gonna mess with that, but it's nice to have that option, especially down the road as you get a little more comfortable, you might wanna to move to something a little more aggressive. Um, here we've got the uh, 38 Surf V2 stabilizer and the 250 front wing. So gonna be one of your more common configurations in terms of a balance of lift and stability uh, and efficiency from the front wing and you know, good stabilizer um, just to, to make the ride predictable. Just like on an airplane setup, uh, airplane wing setup. So your front wing is what's actually generating the lift to bring the board up out of the water. Just like the main wings on an airplane, that's what makes the thing fly. And then um, on a plane, the control surface at the back is called a stabilizer. So this rear wing is just stabilizing the, basically the pitch attitude of the foil so that it's not darting and, and trying to jump around all the time. Um, and I mean, take a look at the quality of the carbon layup. It's like lift is just amazing at that. It looks looks so impressive, even where the weaves meet down the side, just super clean, good part line, pretty cool. So yeah, that's your uh, wing setup, just uh, bolts together and um, the hardware that's included and you're good to go. And then the board comes with its own board bag so which is pretty sweet like I said it gives you the ability with this pass through for the mass to be able to cover everything up even once it's built so if you're storing it uh, you know boathouse on the dock in your garage whatever you can do that without having to tear it down every single time um, makes transportation a lot easier too and so then inside we've got this guy. I mean, yeah, this thing is just absolutely massive. <laughs> so much volume, so much surface area. Um, like I said, easy to stack a couple people on here. Uh, really, really good for for beginners, especially like lightweight riders, they can start standing up on this, and not even have to transition off of off their stomach just because it's so big. Um, so depending on who's gonna be riding it, this could be an option you may wanna take a look at. It's definitely gonna shorten the learning curve. Um, you just have that much of a bigger board once you get more comfortable. So depends on if you wanna kind of shift things more towards like the easy to ride into the spectrum 
but not as maneuverable once you get comfortable. Um, you know, or like I said, if you want to ride multiple people, if you've got some kids that are going to be on it with you all the time or something, then you may want to take a look at, uh, at this big guy, um, just to kind of cruise around. So, um, Wiff 3, so it's carbon fiber, pretty lightweight given the size of the board. Um, and then if we crack open the access hatch with these half turn latches, uh, we can see, you know, in here just, yeah, full, full exposed carbon, carbon on the door panel. Um, again, just standard lift build quality, fit and finish is so nice and dialed in. Um, so this is obviously your battery cavity. So whether you get the standard range or the new lightweight battery, that's gonna fit in here and it locks in with this latch. And these are your power electronics modules. So this is taking basically the, the energy that's stored in the battery and the connection from the hand throttle and powering the prop and monitoring state of charge and all the crazy stuff that it's doing. Um, so your mass connection comes up through this opening here and those three lines that we looked at, the high power connections are gonna feed in right there and then your water connector is going to attach right here so um and yeah it's sealed around the perimeter so it's pretty watertight if you do get water in here everything is waterproof all the connections are waterproof so it's no problem um and yeah that's a quick look at the lift three this is the five foot nine inch version the biggest of the four board sizes that it's offered in super fun platform to just play on if you have any questions, give us a call, send us an email. Otherwise, have fun on the water.